Hi everybody, so a little update what's going on here. Uh, we had our two litters that are due around Christmas. Well, today is the 23rd. Um, so just picking up where we left off, we had x-rays and for Ellie and Callie and Ellie actually x-ray only showed two puppies. So I was a little surprised. Um, I do have an ultrasound machine and I normally like will check them throughout the pregnancy, but I didn't with Ellie because she really doesn't like the machine. So I didn't want to stress her out. So I didn't, you know, look to see actually what she had. So she had two. So, and then Callie went for her x-rays also. She's a little bit behind in breeding compared to Ellie and x-rays showed that she had seven puppies. So that's a pretty good size. Um, both of their last litters were more. Ellie's last litter was nine and Callie's last litter was 10, which um, um, is pretty good size. So we're pretty happy. So on December 21st, I brought Ellie in to, um, when I brought her in for the x-rays, we saw two, so we kind of made a plan on like, hmm, the babies look pretty long and big too, so we thought um, C-section was probably the best way because I didn't want to have complications at home and risk Ellie's health and her two puppies. So we did go in on the 21st and they did end up taking Ellie's uh, two puppies for C-section. Um, she had two little boys. They're not little, one's almost two pounds and the other one's like 24 ounces. So 31 ounce and 26 ounce. Two boys, two little black boys. Um, Ellie is a fawn with black mass, so she does dominate pretty normally. If she, So I was kind of anticipating either blacks or merrells. So I'm just happy that um, the two puppies that she had, um, they delivered fine. We did run into complications that we didn't expect with Ellie. So when they had her open, she had some excessive bleeding. So um, they did a spay at the same time. We don't normally do spays during C-sections. It's not usually recommended because it can make the mother not as motherly and it could cut down on the milk, but being only two and they thought for sure if they sewed her up that she would end up with a pyrometria. And if you don't know what that is, it's an infection in the uterus and it causes hemorrhaging. We've had this one time before. Um, so I said, nope. Let's just do spay and not worry about Ellie's health. So that's what we did. Um, she's doing pretty well with her puppies now. Uh, puppies are two days old today. Today's the 23rd. Um, they're good size. So today, um, Callie's been following up with our reproductive vet too to ensure that their puppies are doing fine. And so her puppies were born this morning. The 23rd, she had her seven little babies, um, also C-section, um, and uh, is doing very well. She's at home recuperating with her babies, her seven babies. She had some good, uh, good healthy babies too. I could hear them crying all the way home through the phone. And that's what you really wanna hear. You wanna hear vibrant puppies that are kicking up a fuss and they don't need to resuscitate them. Um, so they have a fighting chance. So she ended up with, uh, two girls and five boys. So that's a good, a good, um, good amount. It's not a very good variety, but it is what it is. Um, we ended up with the two boys. All these guys already have homes. Um, anybody that didn't get a puppy from either litter will go to Magnolia's, which I am still waiting for her to come into heat. It's all, you know, mother nature. You can't rush it. It just, it is what it is. And um, so she's due anytime soon. I know people get impatient, but just the way it goes. So here's a little sneak peek of um, at least two boys. She's been home a couple days now. She's been doing very well. Um, her spay did go fine. They were wondering if she would have more complications. Um, maybe needing a blood transfusion, but she didn't um, end up bleeding 
once she was spayed, she was fine. So they were, you know, prepared for the worst, but the best came, best scenario came out. So she's been just taking it easy. Um, she has been eating and, um, you know, me pampering her, eating what she wants. So that's totally fine. I've been sleeping in here with her. Um, so we're together around the clock and she's doing really well. She's been going outside to go potty and she's up on the second floor. So she's been doing the stairs. We go slow and steady, but she's doing great. Um, she's attentive to her babies. I don't see any lack of emotion. Ellie's always been a great mother. And so we'll see how big these two boys are when in eight weeks when they go home. I anticipate Callie's litter to be bigger puppies too with only having seven. She had... 10 last time so the smaller the litter the usually the bigger the puppy so we'll see everybody seems to be happy and healthy um all callie's puppies were good size too i think she had one a little bit smaller but only a few ounces smaller than the other ones which isn't really considered a run we've had um ones come back to us at five ounces and that that puppy didn't survive but um you know he was born alive and you know, we did everything we could to save him. He was with us for a short few days and he passed. Um, but that does happen. That's part of breeding. But this, uh, we don't have any little uh, puppies this time. So everything seems to be doing very well. Um, they were all pretty equally spaced in the horn. Which um, when you go for a C-section, it's kind of interesting that they'll tell you uh, puppy number one or puppy will actually put colors on their heads. So... Um, red puppy was on this horn, yellow puppy was down here, and they'll even mark like in the horn where they were. So Ellie had one in each horn, that's probably why the boys are so big, and Callie had them pretty well spaced out too. Sometimes what you'll see is four or five in one horn and then two in the other, and sometimes that happens to Ebby a lot. Well, she's never had a C-section, but I assume where I have such big puppies and then such small puppies. So, you know, those smaller ones were in the same horn, sharing the same nutrients and, um, just develop smaller. But, um, when they did go in for Ellie, Ellie did have three, but one was not fully developed. So, um, she ended up with her two boys. So we're pretty excited and they're doing well and we'll keep you updated and with pictures and stuff of both litters of all of our puppies so our other litter callies we got some blues chocolates and uh, a couple of black ones too so uh, that's kind of a rainbow of colors um, to us it's always important that they're healthy colors you know it's yeah it's great to pick what you want but it's not like going to the grocery store saying I want a red pepper or a green pepper it's we get what we we get and um, we find homes that Mostly people that just want Great Danes and colors like second. Um, you know, we try to give everybody what they want, but sometimes it's just um, delivering a healthy puppy is what's really most important to us. So here's a better lighting of the boys. So today is Saturday the 26th. And I had, um, I did a video before, but the lighting was awful. So I just wanted to cue in on the boys a little bit better. He's sleeping. Well, oh no, he's not. He's eating. He's a big boy. So Monday he'll be uh, a week old. This is George. And there's Mummy. With Emmett. Hey, sweet mama. You sleeping? Yep. So he's a little bit of the tank. <laughs> he's taking a nap. He's either eating or sleeping. And mommy's there. She's uh, making a recovery. It's slower than normal because she had a spade too, but she is coming around slowly. She's still eating and drinking and it's only been a week. Well, not even actually, because today's only Saturday. So she's doing pretty good. She's still on her pain meds. Um, taking advantage of getting good stuff and being hand fed by her mummy. Oh, but she just loves her boys. Yeah, she does. Look at this little chubby. <laughs> is that your baby? Oh, yes, there he is. 
Oh, he said, I gotta go, Mom. <laughs> he's up, so now he's hungry. Look how chubby he is. We'll see how big he gets. Even George is a good size. She gives him everything she's got. Come, Mama. But yeah, so it's during the day, so you can kind of see them little babies better. They're flourishing well. Ellie's coming back slowly. But I mean, anybody that's had any kind of uh, hysterectomy or something can uh, relate. I definitely can. So I've had kids. So she's doing good, though. Oh, that might be a little bit better. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. She decided to go on her bed. Good girl, Kelly. All right, now let's see the lighting. I fixed it a little bit. So they're in here sleeping. Hmm. Aren't they sweet? All snuggled up. Snug as a bug. Snug as a bug, them babies are. So she had some chocolates and blues and blacks, and they're all snoozing, so I'm not going to disrupt them. Mommy's just taking a break. Yeah, so Mommy's taking a break from the kids. Yeah, she's a good girl. I just fed her some chicken, so she's happy. Yeah, she's a happy girl, huh, Kelly girl? She probably just wants me to leave her alone. Can't say as I blame her. So I'm just here hanging out with her, Lou. <laughs> He's such a love. Yeah, so we're babysitting Callie. Yeah. The Callie's babies. Yes, yeah, so you're babysitting your kids. Mm, Georgia had to go for birthday, uh, Christmas party. So we needed to come over and babysit. I did. Pearlie's just helping. He's keeping me busy while I'm here. Huh? Yes, yeah, he's a handsome guy. Yes, he is. You're looking good. Yes, you're looking good. Uh, Lexi was just out here too, but she's a little bit nosy and trying to put her uh, nose in to see what Callie's doing. So I'm not sure Callie's going to like people watching her baby. So I just put her up for a little bit, but I'll probably let her back out. She's a good, she's a good girl too. It is hot as heck in here. Hurley's a busy guy. Entertaining me. Seeing what I'm doing. Checking things out. It is Christmas Eve. He's wondering what he's got in his stocking. As you can see, what I can help you get to it, buddy. Oh, he's sniffing. See what I got. I think there's a stocking over there with your name on it, Hurl. So, this is a uh, Hurley's and uh, the girl's stockings. Uh. Aren't those cute? Hurley, Lexi, and Callie. My mother doesn't love them, and they got one for the crazy cats that live here. Look at George's little stockings, cute too. And this is their skinny cat. He was a stray, believe it or not. What do you think, Hurl? You don't believe it, do you? So, we're just hanging out. Ha, huh, Hurley. Easy, baby. He's such a good boy. How, uh, so, how do you feel about those seven babies? What do you think? Oh, play with your kitty? Is that just crazy, one of your crazy kitties? Yeah. That's your kitty. <laughs> He's such a good boy. This is where Maggie definitely gets her personality from. This crazy guy right here. Huh, buddy? Yep. Maggie is like relentless. Love bug. And he, look at him. He's trying to let me know he's there for me. Hello. Oh my god. He's giving me the eyes. Little love. Kitty's coming over to see us. Yes, your kitty's coming over to see us. 